Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Road to Supersonic Legend. We are here with episode number seven. We're currently at Silver 1, Division 4, so hopefully we're moving into Silver 2 quite soon in this episode. I'm sure we will after one or two wins. Uh, probably one, because we were in Division 4 for a game uh, in the last episode. Which, if you watched that one, uh, we taught you guys how to deal with ball chasers at this rank. And, uh, and probably even in Gold and Platinum rank as well. So... A lot of good stuff we talked about in the earlier episodes of this season. Um, I'm going to be keep keep moving up in this uh, this series and hopefully get to Super Sonic Legend uh, under, I would say, hopefully 40 episodes. But uh, we'll jump right in and get back into the games and uh, see if we can move into gold quite soon. So I heard you guys in the last episode, a lot of you guys were saying that I'm not really making as many mistakes or or mistakes that Silvers will be making. And I totally get that. I'm trying to keep it at a pace where it, uh, you know, it's helpful for everybody. Um, but also, you know, reinforce boost management to players who are at this level. Because a lot of people just hold down the boost like this and just kind of use it all and then be at zero. Um, but you kind of want to just, you know, pick up some pads and stay close. And, uh, you know, stay relevant on the ball. It's a good try there. A little bit of bump with my teammate, a little friendly bump. Oh, you guys got some pretty good drifts. So right here, I'm going to turn on this. See, my team wants to come in. Oh, it's doing doing circles. That's okay. Now my teammate can follow in the corner here. It's slowing down a little bit. I'm going to get mid for him. Oh, good try. Oh, good dunk. This could be good for us. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to fly up like this and miss it. Just to give, uh, you know, that's what you should be going for there is when the ball's up in the air and there's, there's someone. A little bit of a drift turn off that corner. A little pop over two. Hopefully my teammate can come running in. It's a good save from them. My teammate's uh, a little bit out of place, so I'm going to come back here. Good. I'm just going to tap this off the wall. Good clear across. That's really good to go up the wall like that. Phil Philippe is holding down the fort right now. Bit of a miss from my teammate. So right here, what I'm going to do is stay near the wall and just hold on to it. Bit of a pop. Not gonna score it. As I talked about before, if you are new to the se uh, the series, I'm gonna try and not be the one to score, obviously, because I'm a top like top ten player in some ranks or some leaderboards. Uh, I don't want to be styling on these silver players. Oh, good try. And as I say that, <laughs> I scored unintentionally. All I was doing was just staying behind the ball, and then and then uh, ended up in a a bit of a outplay there. Um, also, if you do know uh, about Baki's mod, which is a mod you can use uh, on Steam currently, hopefully an Epic game soon. Uh, this isn't what my car actually looks like to these players, so don't don't you worry. This is my branded car, sort of, that I use, and uh, it has my Alpha Boost, which obviously. Oh, hi, buddy. East Pacifier or Pacifer? It's gonna go again. I'll just let him turn. Like I said, this is kind of the going back into that reinforcing of the earlier uh, episodes too. Just kind of chilling. I'm going to go like this and fly at the ball. Pick up the pace a little bit. This guy's zooming around, man. I'm just going to wait again. Hit this off the corner if I can. Oh, my teammate wanted to go as well. <laughs> so right when, I, right when that happens, I'm going to back off. Make sure I stay in mid in case any ball comes in. See, I'm further back and now I can read this play. Uh, much earlier than anybody else on the field. I'm going to try hit this across for my teammate. Oh, teammate stopped moving. See so here, I can see the clear is going to come out. You can actually let this ball roll up to the wall. Oh, hi. So I got some space on the right wall here. So I'm going to bring it around here. You just drive on the side wall. Stay in the way. I'm going to rule one here. Oh. Oh, he broke it! Obviously, uh, lower level players here don't know about that rule, but, uh, there's a, a sacred rule one. Uh... <laughs> that basically if you get locked like head head to head with cars um you people tend to stay stay together on it so i'm gonna pop out of the corner so right here is a bit of an awkward ball for my teammate he goes for the boost which does put me in a bit of an awkward spot the ball goes over my head it's a good save there that's some good speed that's a good touch so i'm gonna wait in net here and see what happens obviously i really want to you really should be attacking this um but i'm just gonna give them like space to make an attack I'm going to drive the wall like this and should pop the ball up nice and high. I'm just going to sit in mid, see if my team wants to go up for it. It's a good try. I'll just pop it off the corner again. You can either pop that off the corner or uh, off the top of the backboard. It's a good try. 
Nice clear by the opponents. Now I'm going to flip back. Make sure I get those pads on the boost line here. Now see how I'm full. Going back. And as I boost around, I'm also grabbing the little boost pads the whole time. Try and stay on top of it. And don't tell me. I'm not trying to do this. He hit it right into me. <laughs> it's truly tragic. We've got both the goals here and the game's almost over. And uh, uh, yeah, let's try and just drive up to the wall here and pop it mid. Not a great clear. You want to make sure you hit that a little bit further. As you can see, they had a chance at shooting at net. And wait behind. Teammates waiting in the corner. You gotta be a little bit careful of that. It's a really good demo. Let's see if Pacifer is gonna touch this. It's a really good touch. Let's see if you can keep it going. I'm not gonna score this, but it might. It's gonna roll in on its own because of the roll of the ball. Oh, he saved it. Oh my. It's a wild ride in silver. All right, so I'm keeping my pace up here. As you can see, the ball's coming up to the wall. I'm just gonna drive up to it once it reaches the bottom. And then right here, I'm trying to read it on the floor. Okay, I saved it, I think. Yeah, there you go, okay. Um, so right there, I was trying to watch for when the ball, I'm just basically timing the ball rolling down. You can see it's gonna roll out to the off of the wall a little bit. So I'm just trying to, uh, to anticipate that behind the play. Oh man. I didn't feel like I was doing that much this game, but, uh... <laughs> oops! That's probably my biggest oopsie in this series so far. And the goals were not intentional, so... Well, we do get the win, and I think that might be what it took to get into Silver 2 here. So let's see if we, we move up enough. Oh, did we get it? Oh no, we're still Division 4. Wow, okay. So my teammate was Silver 2. And I basically had 10 times times this score. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a yikes on my part. Um, I'll try to do a little bit less. But basically the reason why I had so many points was just because I was staying uh, in that midfield. I keep reinforcing this, but I'm really trying to push for you guys that are pushing out of these ranks. How important it is to hold on to your boost management uh, on the midfield. And just watch those balls that are coming out. Don't try to fly right in. Sometimes in Rocket League, it's gonna it's gonna sound weird, but sometimes in Rocket League, letting the opponent hit the ball is a good thing. Because either they hit it right to you, or they let go of the ball to a point where it gives the possession away and you have some space to grab some boost. So sometimes like you'll see in the upper ranks, if you ever watch my actual high le high level ranked gameplay, um you'll see that people like to fake challenge a lot, and that's because you're trying to force people off the possession of the ball without actually committing yourself, because a lot of the times, players uh, will be able to pop the ball over you. That's a good touch. Um, they'll be able to pop the ball over you. And uh, you'll just be out of the game if you flip into it and commit. So right here, I'm just going to stay behind. Bit of a miss. So I get a bit of a save there. It's probably why I'm racking up the points, honestly. I already have 50 points just from that one save. That's a good shot. Nice play. I heard my teammate, so I was a little worried to go up. As you see, he came right behind me. So don't do what he did. Um, if you see your teammate right in front of your face, um, make sure you don't just chase him down. Uh, this is reinforcing, once again, spacing out with your teammates, making sure you keep your uh, your car in a position that covers as many options as possible. All right, so that guy's going ham. And he's bumping me. Just gonna drive into it. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. Take a good touch. Maybe Chonk can get up there. Good try. So I'm going to stay with the ball in here. I'm just watching for underneath. He goes early. It's a great dunk by my teammate. You guys already feel much faster. So I'm just going to challenge that. I see I see him under the ball, but he's in a spot where it's not too... Uh, not too comfortable. Oh. Oh, he missed. Oh. So I'm going to just drag it in mid here. Reinforce that I want to pass to my teammate. He's going to get beat here. I can see this is coming off the wall. And there's two people that are right on it. So it's a little bit scary to go for. I'm going to just fly across the net. Good try by Chunk. So he's missing. So I got to I gotta be ready for the next touch here. I'm bring it to the side here. I just bring up the wall. 
And I'll just back off. That that high ball should force some errors in, in defense. See if Chonk wants it. Good 50-50. So I did a bit of a drift there to get on that ball faster, as you can see. Um, that drift less, well, allows you to turn those corners so much more sharp. I'm going to hit that out like that. It's a bit, it's a bit advanced, but... If you drive with the wall and just side flip out, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, hit that ball out once you're rolling with it. Gonna hit that, hit that late. Good. The ball kind of. See how I'm just naturally ending up where the ball is, and that just comes with a lot of muscle memory. Like knowing where the play is gonna be ahead of time is really, really important. Like right here, I can see the hits coming to me. Chonk hits it. Now it's towards Tony, but it's a really good turn for him to come back into it. Good try. Oh. Whoa. This could be bad. No. I I don't mean to score, man. I don't mean to score. Thanks. I'll just say I'll say thanks, but I thought he was gonna save that one. They were looking pretty solid, so I just popped it. And that's on me again. Ah man. You know. I'll just take a chill pill. You know what? Chonk, you got it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be in the net for a little bit here. That's good. Oh. Get that across. Let my teammate go up. Come on, Chonk, you got this. It's a good hit. So right here, with that touch, you gotta be a little bit careful. Um when when that play when that player hits the ball off the side, it can give you a false set sense of like okay we got the ball in front of the net but if that guy's defending um it's in a spot where oh come on you got this oh close nice i'll give him a nice shot um what i was trying to say was chonk hit that across the middle right but i'm not gonna be that close to the net to the point where i will overcommit in case there's anything that goes wrong and so the player who was defending in the net made a clear there and you can see that if i committed on that play mid it's way too dangerous, and they could easily get it over my head, and that will make you uh, overcommit and ultimately lose a lot of goals that you shouldn't be. So right here, I'm just going to leave. There we go. Keeping pressure. Once again, just watch this midfield. If he makes a touch, he throws it away. He's going to stay behind the ball here. Good. Nice job, Chunk. Oh, I'm still carrying. Oh, that's awkward. I don't even feel like I'm doing that much. I feel it's just like, like just the save points. All right, here we go, Chunk. You can get this, right? Good try on the turn. Oh. Where's Chunk going? Nice. I, I feel like that was way too... Uh, too high level to save that so i jumped but it was a good uh a good dunk and uh like i said i'm trying not to annoy players at this rank and i'm not trying to win these really i'm just playing it out um obviously the goal is to get to supersonic legend in this series but with these lower rank games it's kind of kind of just i'm kind of just vibing with it Let's see what happens so that's a good try so right here i'm just gonna stay in the corner Look at 50-50. So right here, Chunk can stay on this ball. Oh, nice try. Close. It's a good dunk right here. It's going to be them clearing again. You can see. This guy's going for wall hits. It's pretty good. I'll pop that up. See how much power you get. And this was in my... Uh, I think it was in the second episode. About half volleys. How strong those can be. Uh, when the ball's bouncing up like that, it's so powerful. Wait. This could be... I don't I don't I don't wanna do too too much reversing and, and crazy stuff, so I'm gonna just chill. But there was a definitely an opening just to score that. Has to be chunk to finish this. So right here I'm waiting for the bounce on the wall. And then I turn in once I once I read it. And uh like I said, watch those earlier episodes to really show uh to you know Oh no. This could be game here. Good save. That could have been game. Could have lost in silver like Rizzo. <laughs> Wait, this is good. Like I said, it has to be Chonk. Has to be Chonk. You got this, man. 
These guys, the opponents seem pretty good. I'm too afraid of Chonka committing for that. I'm going to chip this like this and see if he wants to come in. Good try. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't tell if I should be really saving some of these. Oh, no, Chonk. Get it. Yes. Nice job. Nice shot. There we go. Oh. Rude. And somehow I still carried because I guess that third save helped a lot. He said, what a save. That was so rude. That was like actually the first sense of toxicity we've actually witnessed on this series. And that has to be, I think, uh, has to be Silver 2. And there it is. So we are Silver 2 moving up in the world. So we're, we're Division 2. Not too bad. We'll keep going. So we'll, we'll gradually see the uh, the players improve. That guy was uh, Silver 2, uh, Tony. He was looking pretty consistent. Now, I was thinking what would be funny uh, is if uh, we have a new thing where uh, the most upvoted name on the, the video is the, the name I use for the next video that I record. Um, spoiler alert, I will be, uh, <laughs> I will be recording too, uh, just because I have to get caught up with videos and stuff, but uh, I'll be QB for this video, and then I don't know what I'm going to be for the next one. I just came up with some stupid name, and uh, this is this is not something that a silver would go for. There we go. That's a good shot. So a bit of a poor 50-50 by Yomark there. Ends up flying across and then cutting way too far wide. He needs, he needs to turn into that ball earlier. Because he cut me off, I wanted to let him go ahead of me, but him... Uh, not getting a solid contact on that 50-50 does put me in a bit of a tough situation. Bit of a fake kickoff from the opponents. So I see that I'm last here for a little bit. My teammate does not want to rotate back. Um, he's kind of... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just tap to the wall. See, my teammate was kind of lingering there. I need to get out of here like this as fast as possible. Let my teammate come in. And I can sit in mid and get in a better position. Whoa. Let's go like that. Maybe Yomar can stay on it. Let's see what's going on here. It's a bit, it's a bit tough. Like I said, I don't want to score, so obviously I could have just blasted that, but that's not what we're here about. We're here to help learn about, you know, positioning and and uh, and overall ways to improve. And there we go. Nice. Just reinforcing that I want to pass to my teammate. So I get a bit, a bit of a fake on him. So I'm just driving away. And I did talk about how to do those fakes. And I just drifted around him um, to pass it mid. I'm not moving too fast. I think it's like at a fair pace. Diego didn't go for the kickoff. I don't know what's going on. He keeps not doing that. No. No, no, please. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. Okay, so I went away here. My teammate's up on the ball. He kind of passed it to them, but I'll, I'll, I'll let it slide. This is kind of tough. I'm going to just boost. It's really hard to, like, not go to my muscle memory and just kind of take over. You know what I mean? But I'm doing my best. Here I'm last, but I see that I'm going to be uh, a bit of ahead of the ball. All right, so obviously I could just boost to this and score. But, uh... He's chasing me down. I'll get in the mid here. It's a good uh, good defense from them. I'm going to get behind my teammate as fast as possible so he can challenge. Get a 50-50. Deerbutt's probably going to beat my teammate here. I can see that ahead of time. So I'm already getting ready behind him on that sidewall bounce and getting ahead. And Yomark hopefully can come down and make a touch here. It's a good first touch. Good try. They're rushing in from the side. So I see that. And... <sighs> I don't mean to do this, man. I really don't mean to. <laughs> like, normally that would just be pressure. And someone would go be back in and pop it across. And it's just like, sometimes it just takes over, man. It's a good block. 
a good pass middle too. He could pop off the corner. It should be uh, Deer Butt's ball, but Yomar gets a touch. I'll let him chase in. You see how like everyone else is on the ball completely all the time, and I'm kind of spacing out. Uh, that's how you can differentiate a player who's like watching the field a little more. That's a great shot. Nice shot. Everyone else is kind of wandering around the ball, and I'm kind of sitting back. So I am giving myself away a little bit if people recognize that I'm kind of just, you know, scanning. But hey, my teammate's carrying, so I'm doing something right. That was kind of the plan of this this whole time. I think this is the first game. This is hard. This is hard. I don't probably probably not. Well, I was gonna say I'm probably not gonna save this because that's uh, not something a silver would normally do. I'm just gonna do a few misses here and there and just fl flip around. I've missed this aerial. Let's see if Mark can get back and make a defensive touch. He does. We're going to move back behind my teammate. Oh, getting saucy with it. So they hit it across. I use a bit of boost to turn around. And here, I'm not going to jump for this. I, I realize that I probably shouldn't. Good try by Yo Mark. So wait for him to get back. He's getting the, the, the back corner boost. Trying to bump them or something, which is good. Whoa. So here... Obviously, that's a little more advanced. I'm going to just act as if that was a mistake or like a, a fluke. And, uh, and you know, be on our merry way. No, I'm carrying. No, get some points. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. No. <laughs> I can't save it or else I'll get 50 points. He needs to carry me. He needs to carry me. Yo, Mark, I need you, uh, I need you to do me a solid and get two points, please. Actually, let's say, let's say get four because then he'll actually be carrying me. I believe in him. He can do this. Ouch. Well, that'll help. I'm going to get back here. I'm moving a little too fast. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. It's six points. All right. I got I got got a, I got a center ball, I think. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. I believe. Yes. Yes, Mark. I, I, I believe that it happened. Oh, man. He's nuts. Look at him go. He got bumped. By the way, he's using the Ripper, which, spoiler alert, was one of my first cars I used uh, when I first started playing the game. And I mained that car for quite a while. And he's basically using my setup. <laughs> That's so funny. Maybe this is the next... Oh my god, he's nuts. Maybe this is the next Leth, you know? He's, he's uh, early days. Here he is. This is me. Five years ago. Oh yeah, he just all decided to pop off. He's carrying me like crazy now. Look at him go. It's a good block. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Look at these guys making passing plays in silver. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> There's no way. That was crazy. And back to your regularly scheduled program of silver gameplay. Good. So here I see I have a little bit of time. I get a, a block on him. Are we going to hit it across? My teammate bounced me a little bit as I'm rotating out. This is fine though. So normally I would go for that, but my teammate is backing off. And I'll just let him go first. Take a touch to the corner. Oh, and uh, he hit it back. So there we go. So the, I believe that is the last game for this episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we got carried by Yomark. So finally a game where I didn't get majority of the points. And he honestly popped off at the end there. Um, biggest takeaway is the fact that, you know, we're getting up the ranks. And uh, it's still, still reinforcing that boost management. Uh, that's the biggest thing. I think, like, literally, if you just do what I'm doing by, like, just scanning the field and, you know, being available for your teammate in spots where he won't be uh, cutting you off because you're spacing away from him, you'll immediately see an improvement for sure. But until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the seventh episode of the series. Make sure you uh, keep up to date with this because uh, we're going to be moving up the ranks quite quickly, quite soon. So until next time, have a great day. We'll catch you guys in the next one.